Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services and what I'd like to show you today is uh, how to remove the Windows 10 and stop it from uh, automatically installing. Uh, <clears throat> Microsoft is being very bullish about putting out Windows 10 and uh, even if you uninstall some updates that were recommended in the past, uh, most of the time the Windows 10 uh, update comes back and uh, starts bugging you that you need to install it. <clears throat> so this is the latest as of uh, uh, April of 2016 um, on how to make the Windows 10 not go on your computer permanently but uh, it might change later don't know. So if this is what you see on your screen uh, every so often uh, this is what we're talking about so let's click this off first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to start and type in reg edit this is a registry editor and click yes on there uh, what we're gonna do here is uh, you might have some things open um, that means somebody was working in the registry uh, you need to close all the little triangles so that nothing's open. We're going to add a uh, sub key and we're going to add a D word value. The sub key we're going to add, add uh, we're going to um, follow the path where it's going to go into and it is on H key local machine so we click on that little triangle and we'll go to software and we'll go to policies and I'm clicking on the tiny triangles triangles there Microsoft Windows okay so if you have Windows update in here that means somebody tried if you don't have we're gonna have to create a Windows update uh, sub key so we right click here and we create click new key and we're going to type in Windows capital W update no space capital U so Windows update update no space capital W capital U I don't know if it's important but that's how it's recommended then we hit enter that uh, uh, sub key has been created now inside of the sub key we're going to create a D word we right click anywhere Click new, uh, select new, and then we're gonna go to D word, 32 bit, and the D word value is gonna be called disable OS upgrade. Capital D, capital OS, capital U. So we have disable OS upgrade, D word hit enter and now we're going to enable the disable upgrade and uh, we right click we go to modify and we set it to one all right so this should tell Microsoft to back off but because uh, everything has been already put on your system um, we have to now remove those uh, prompts so we close this by the way one of the things you want to do before you start editing a registry is go to file and export your registry um, just give it a name backup and save so what I'm saving right now is a registry with the um, sub keys and D words that I've added but it doesn't matter so you want to do that before just because um, if you accidentally mess things up you have something to go back to so we close this now we go to start we go to all programs and we go to Windows update so there is going to be some updates waiting to be installed we don't care about that in a lower left hand corner of this window you have installed updates so we click on that 
and we wait for the fields to populate and this green bar basically tells you how far along uh, it, it is. In this uh, we're going to need to find some Windows updates that we're going to need to remove. So the green bar is done. What you want to do is click on the name and organize it upside down. So this is this little triangle. Click on it so the triangle is facing down. This way it's going to be easier to find those updates. Let's make the um, full screen. The first update we're going to be looking for is 3035583. And it is right here. 3035583. And I'll put those uh, numbers in description. Just double click on it. It's going to ask you, do you want to uninstall it? Click yes. <clears throat> this uh, will uninstall the actual uh, prompt for your uh, Windows 10 installation. And there is a couple more updates that we're going to need to get rid of and then we're going to need to restart the computer. So we don't want to restart it just yet. Uh, the other update we're going to get off is 3021917. So 3021917. Double click. Yes. You can also do a single click and click on install, but double click is just a little faster. Restart later. And the last one is 295 Two six six four. So two nine five two six six four. It's right here. Double click. Yes. Uh, after we don't want to restart it yet. After this is all done, we're going to close it and we're going to manually restart the computer. As far as Windows, oh great, it's going to install some updates. I wish it didn't. Um, I just don't trust Microsoft with uh, um, basically any. Okay, so this is a second part. Uh, we got uh, Windows restarting um, and uh, we have the um, updates installing. And uh, these updates are not the ones that are removed. Hopefully. So we'll just wait. Okay, so now that the computer is restarted, we just need to wait and see if the prompt for Windows 10 upgrade is going to come back uh, in the lower right hand corner and we're just going to give it a couple of seconds okay so hopefully it's not let's uh, this is the second part of the uh, repair or uh, modification of the computer we click on start we go to all programs and we go to Windows Update. All right, now we're going to check for updates. And what this will do is it'll go out and it will bring uh, the prompt for the updates that are we have just removed. If we don't do this step, those updates will get reinstalled again and your prompts will come back. So we just have to be patient until uh, the computer is uh, done checking whatever it is that checking with the uh, Microsoft. <clears throat> it has been a amazing ordeal where a fully functional computer that has Windows 7 on it 
gets disrupted, broken down by Windows 10 installation for no reason whatsoever. And it makes a lot of people unhappy. Uh, Microsoft is still trying to push that with all of their might um, and uh, telling us that the Windows 10 is good. Now here's what I say. If you purchased a brand new computer that has Windows 10 on it, there isn't a problem with the Windows 10 in general. It is not a bad system. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about it is I don't know myself what is being sent to uh, Microsoft, what is being checked, how uh, there is a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that's not transparent with Windows 10. Uh, another part of Windows 10 is Windows 10 is marketed as service which has a lot of people confused meaning that people don't know or don't care to know what does it mean service uh, it means like office 365 where eventually windows 10 will be the only operating system and you're gonna have to pay for using it this way microsoft uh, secures uh, income for future and uh, every year or every however the payment schedule is set up uh, you're gonna basically fork out a few dollars to Microsoft and uh, um, use the computer now I know not everybody is on board with that not everybody likes that but that's you know that's the way the industry is going everything is uh, subscription based uh, so Microsoft is not really uh, a pioneer in this. There is nothing new about this. Just the fact that we used to thinking that uh, computers uh, that we own are ours. Uh, in reality, they're not. Uh, they haven't been for quite a long time. Uh, Microsoft can remotely disable uh, any computer. Okay, so now we have the updates. So we go to important updates. And uh, here are the updates that we have just removed. And we're going to uncheck those. Now we're going to right click and select hide update. Right click, hide update. Right click, hide update. So these are the three updates that we have removed and with hiding them basically we tell Microsoft get lost we don't want these updates installed on our computer they cause problems now we click OK and uh, click close and that's basically it uh, with hope in the future uh, this will not uh, be an issue. So uh, right now, as of, like I said, as of April of 2016, this is the uh, procedure for uh, disabling Windows 10 automatically installing on your computer or installing in general until you yourself decide. So if this helps somebody, uh, please like, give me a thumbs up. If... Uh, you have a question feel free if you like my other videos subscribe as always thank you so much for watching